Hey first graders, we're gonna do our math today on Tuesday. So it's page 271 and 272. So we'll start on 271 with number one. It's just asking us to write the missing numbers. So right here we have five plus what equals 12. And remember the way that we do this is we count up. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We have seven fingers. So we'll put seven in the box there. So 5 plus 7 equals 12. And then if we move to this next one, 12 plus what equals 12? And you all know that one? A big old goose egg, 0. 5 plus 0 equals 12. And then we'll move on to number 2. It's our less than and greater than. And so we have 126 or 162. Which one is a little bird going to eat? Which one is more? So 162 because the tens value is larger. So we'll put our less than symbol in there. So 126 is less than 162. And so if we move on to the next one, it says 200 and 178. Now we know that 200 is more, so we're gonna put our mouth facing towards that number. And this says 200 is greater than 178. So remember, this way is less than, and then if you do it this way, it's greater than. So 200 is greater than 178. And then you just have a few more of those to do on your own. Number three is just review. And that's just your dice. They want you to write two addition and two subtraction facts. And so remember when you do your subtraction, you count with you start with the sum of all of the dots so you'll start with 11 for your subtraction so 11 minus 5 equals and then 11 minus 6 equals and then number four with your birds here your birds are a little bit cuter on your paper but I did my best so it says circle the bird at the top so what bird here is at the top that's right we're gonna circle this one here and then it's asking us for one more thing, underline the bird at the right. So you'll underline the bird on the right hand side here. So it's asking you for two things, don't forget both of those. And then number five and number six on this page here are both review. For number five, you're just gonna count the number, or write the numbers before and after by one. So the number that you have is 150. So you'll just count one before and one after. And then on number six, it's write the before and after numbers by twos. So don't forget that. So you'll have to go two before and two after on those. And then if you flip your page, the top is all subtraction problems. And it gives you these cute little gumballs up there to help you count down. And so we are with uh, starting with our 12s. And so you'll just have to write the differences on the boxes here. And then if we move to number two, it says write the sums. These are all addition, and we will have to be working on our carrying. So for the first one, it's 23 plus 48 here. So remember, we'll always start with our ones column. So we have eight plus three, and that is 11, you're right. And so we'll put our one here, and then we'll have to carry our other one to the tens place. And so we'll have four plus two plus one, and what are we gonna get, everybody? That's right, seven. So we'll put our seven there. So 71, and just make sure you're carrying when you need to carry, and it gives you the boxes to help you. And then the last part here, we're just gonna set the last clock to follow the pattern. So that you can see that the first three clocks in each row are done for you, but the last one you're gonna have to do. So we'll do one of them together. So the very first one, it says that it is two o'clock. That's the very first clock on the very first row. And then the next one in that same row, it's there's one hour and there's two hours. This is the next time at four o'clock. And then the next one, the third clock on your page there, it's six o'clock. So the first one was two, the second one was four, the third one was six. So what do you guys think the next time will be that we'll have to fill in ourselves? So we have two, four, six, eight. So we're counting by two hour increments. 
So then we'll go, there's one hour and there's one more hour. So the clock that we're gonna have to fill in has the short hour hand on the eight and the long minute hand on the 12 up here at the 60 mark, which means it's a brand new hour. And if we start with the next one, let's see here. Okay, so on the next row, it gives us it gives us this time here for 9.30. And then, so 9.30 is your first time. And then your second clock says that it's 10.30. And then your third clock says that it's 11.30. So what's it? We have 9.30, 10.30, 11.30. If we go one more hour, what time is that? 12.30, you're right. Good job. And so the last one, I'm gonna let you guys do all by yourselves. And just if you need to, you can write the actual time on the clocks just right below it to help you kind of count it out. And then that's all you'll have to do for today. And you do have a math test, so make sure you're ready for that. And that is it, and I will see you guys later.